Here's our little suitcase generator. Uh, this is a uh, 1 kVA. It's got plenty of power for the little geo sub there. The first thing we're going to do is check the fluids. Uh, if this has been transported to you, we need to make sure that uh, the oil is uh, where it should be in the uh, bottom of the sump. Uh, one thing we can do, I'll just take this hatch off. We, with this uh, turned off, we're in the off position. Just gently pull on this cord and see if it runs freely. And if it's turning over freely, that's a good sign. If it's not, if it's really pulling hard up on there, it's possible that there's some oil that's entered into the combustion chamber. If that is the case, give us a call and we'll talk you through what to do next. Uh, let's just check the oil in here. There's a little dipstick in there and that's looking pretty good. So, uh, and there is a manual supplied with this, so we'll follow the specs with the manual to see uh, what kind of oil we should be putting in there and uh, where the level should be. Uh, there's a little air filter in here, we should check that as well. It's all looking good and clean. Okay, that's ready to go. So we'll put this back on. Uh, this generator runs on unleaded fuel. I've already got fuel in here. It will be transported without fuel, but I have fuel in here. I'll just open this up and you'll see inside a filter and there's a little red ring uh, down there in the filter and that ring indicates when the fuel tank is full. And when you've got a full tank, you should have plenty to last you for a day's sampling. Okay, uh, what else have we got? We have a choke button here and we'll need that to start. Uh, we've got the on off, so this is essentially uh, uh, shutting the ignition to the spark plug, so we can turn that on. Uh, on the lid here, on the uh, filling lid, there is a vent. We'll need that on the on switch so that we have a vented cap. Let's move around to the front. And here are our sockets that we need. There is a button here, uh, the eco throttle. So when there is no power draw on the unit, we can switch that and it will reduce the revs and it will just uh, idle away. Uh, that must be turned off any time we have an appliance plugged in. Uh, these uh, pieces of equipment do not take kindly to the eco throttle that you can damage the equipment uh, by using that. So we leave that off. And there are a few indication lights, uh, an oil alert button, uh, overload alarm and our output indicator and uh, we should get a nice green light there at some point. Um, okay, so that is it. So that is ready to, to start. Flick the choke on, pull it, pull start, and once it's started we can wind the choke back until we're running and then we'll leave this to warm up for uh, a good few minutes and that's why then we'll get into setting up the equipment. Once the equipment is set up, we can, re we can connect this. Now, what is important about this is that we do not connect any equipment until the generator has been started, until it's been running with the uh, eco switch off. And when it's running, then we can plug in our uh, appliances. And uh, in the reverse order, when we're finished with our appliance, we pull the plug before turning off the generator. That is uh, very important to do that uh, in the right order so that we don't damage the equipment we're using. These generators are couriered to you empty. Uh, the uh, cap will be in its closed position. The fuel tank will be entirely empty. Um, and we do this with a little hand pump. We supply these to you. Have a look in the box and there's some instructions of how to empty the tank. Uh, don't tip the whole generator upside down to empty the tank because the uh, oil inside will end up uh, spewing out in various directions and uh, possibly into the combustion chamber. So be nice and gentle, just uh, uh, pump out with a hand pump all of the fuel out and then be prior to couriering back, leave the cap open, let as much uh, vapour vent out as possible uh, and then uh, once you're ready, so uh, try, try to give that as much time as you can and then cap back on and as I say, in the closed position. And again, I'll remind you, when you get the generator, before you start it, turn it over a few times with the switch in the off position just to make sure there's no resistance there and there's no uh, excess oil in the combustion chamber.